Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the EVGA Precision Tool for the EVGA GeForce GTX 590 Classified Edition video card. This is a basic overclocking utility, which is very simple to manipulate, and it'll allow you to overclock your video card. If we look towards the left, we will see that we have four line graphs. Each line graph either denotes a temperature or GPU usage. Since the 590 is a dual GPU video card, you will see that it has GPU 1 and GPU 2 for all your line graphs. If we go down to the bottom, we will see an information bar. The information bar gives you the product version that you're using, what display device you're using, display driver, and BIOS. If we move along towards the bottom, we will see test. We will talk about test in a little bit. That is basically how you would test your overclock. Your apply button, how you would apply your overclock. And of course, apply at startup. Apply at startup, basically, when you have that clicked, once you reboot your computer, you will be able to get the, the same overclock every time. Down at the bottom, we have a, a sprocket which, show, which brings up just basic settings, your general settings, your fan settings, the monitoring on what you would like to monitor, on-screen display, screen capture, your profiles, and of course user interface, which you could change the skins on the, uh, on the precision tool itself. Moving over, we could see the Profiles button. We could store 10 profiles on this, so depending on what you want to do, you could store up to 10 overclocking profiles. To the right of that is the Reset All button. That resets everything, so if you get a bad overclock, you want to reset back to your stock speeds, you could go ahead and do that. As I said, this is a dual GPU configuration, the 590, so of course, you're going to see GPU 1 and GPU 2. You have a slider for your processor clock, a slider for your memory clock, and a slider for your fan speed, which also has an auto and manual button. At this time, at this time we'll keep it on auto. Down towards the bottom is a sync button. This will sync your overclock between both GPUs. So let's go ahead and throw a slight overclock on the GPUs. I will take the processor clock and bring it up about 100. Bring that up to 1360. And we'll go ahead and take the memory clock up to 1828. Then we'll click apply. This applies the settings for that overclock and the, the, for the processor and memory clock speeds. Now if you click the sync button, it will then sync both, the, both GPUs, GPU 1 and GPU 2. As you can see, they are both set now to 1360 and 1828. After that is done, you're going to want to test your overclock. So I have pre-installed the EVGA OC scanner and it does need to be installed in order to test it. So when you click test, it will bring up the OC scanner. And if you see the, the writing here, it tells you what card you have in, what GPU you'll be monitoring, your GPU temperature, your core speeds, the card itself, how many cores, etc. Towards the left, we have an artifact scanner. I have that enabled at this time. Down at the bottom, we could benchmark the card to see the, the difference in uh, numbers that you might receive when you do overclock it from stock. Down at the bottom, we have Windows parameters, and basically this will set the parameters on what you want to show your test screen at. At this time, I have it at 512 by 512 and then of course start stress test. When we click start stress test it'll bring up another window 
And what that will do is it'll start stressing the, G the uh, GPUs to make sure that your overclock is stable. Up on the top you have the time, frames per second, the GPU itself, your core clock, memory clock, and the load. Your temperature, VDCC, and your PCB temp. And it's the same for the bottom, when you, for the second GPU. When you go down to the bottom, you'll see artifacts. It will tell you how many artifacts that you have. Right now, I have it set to zero for everything, so if it does go to one or two, it's going to stop the test. There's also another way to test it, so let's go ahead and click off of that. And we will uncheck the artifact scanner and go ahead and start a stress test. And now, as you can see, the design is moving. And this is basically more of a, uh, it's, it's, it still stresses, it still stresses the same way, but it's not going to, to uh, tabulate how much artifact you have. So you might want to do the in, enable the artifact scanner. Any artifact that you do receive will result in a possible unstable overclock. You also have the benchmark test, and basically you can benchmark it. You click it up; it will bring up the it will bring up the uh, the window, and it will run. Once it's done running, it will generate your scores. So let's wait a couple seconds for that to finish, and we'll see what we got out of our overclock. Okay, basically our score is 3347, and we did 1,100, uh, actually 11,115 frames per second. And that is it. The EVGA GeForce GTX 590 Precision Tool for the Classified Edition of the GeForce GTX 590. Also remember that the GTX 590 classified comes with a version of 3D Mark 11. Once you register your card, you will be able to download a free version of advanced 3D Mark 11. This has been the Precision Tool tutorial. Thank you. See you again.